first, an all-out manhunt for a cop killer. He doesn't belong here. He's a criminal. We will find him. We will arrest him. And we will bring him to justice. The new information we're learning about the suspect. Your news at 5 starts now. And right now we're entering the 40th hour in the search for that suspected cop killer, an illegal immigrant. Right now, detectives are serving a search warrant at a rural home 12 miles south of the city of Merced. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis May. And I'm Angela Greenwood. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live in Newman, where authorities spoke earlier today revealing new information about this suspect. Rachel. This is really a tale of two immigrants. One here legally a police officer serving the community, the other here illegally suspected of taking that police officer's life. You have to understand this was not supposed to happen here. On a police force of 13, the loss of one hits hard, especially when it's Corporal Ronald Singh. We're not an agency, we're a family. Newman Police Chief Randy Richardson fought back tears, remembering Singh, who had worked hard to become a police officer, after immigrating from the Fijian Islands. Singh was good natured with a contagious smile and laugh. He was truly a bright light in our lives. The chief had actually relieved Singh Christmas morning so he could go be with his wife and five month old son. Less than 24 hours later, tragedy. Police say Singh was shot and killed in a gunfight with this man after Singh pulled him over for suspected drunk driving on his way home. This suspect, unlike Ron, who immigrated to this country lawfully and legally, to pursue his lifelong career of public safety, public service, and being a police officer, this suspect is in our country illegally. He doesn't belong here. He's a criminal. We will find him. We will arrest him. And we will bring him to justice. As the search for Singh's killer continues, the community continues to honor the fallen hero with flowers and prayers, hoping he will never be forgotten. He will never see his son walk. He doesn't get to hold that little boy, hug his wife, say good night anymore because a coward took his life. Back out here live, this memorial continues to grow outside this police department. And let me be clear about one thing. Authorities say they have identified a suspect, but they are not releasing his name because he has multiple names, multiple aliases, and they are working to verify that. They are working with federal authorities as well. And as you just mentioned, there is that manhunt underway. They are searching other locations for him. If you see the man that we just showed you, do not approach him. He is considered armed and dangerous. You need to call 911 immediately. And despite it being 40 hours, Rachel, uh, they think he's still in the area. They did think that earlier today. They said at noon that they thought he was in Stanislaus County. But at this point, they said they can't be sure of that. And again, we do hear that there is some breaking news that he might be in a different part of this area. So again, he, it is a fluid situation. We'll keep you updated. Okay, Rachel, thank you. Yeah.